What is up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and today we're going to do an overview of my modded Rapid Red, the Rapid Dead. Right, guys hope you enjoyed uh, those close-up looks and I'm just gonna kind of go over uh, what what's going on here so the paint job is I start out with a black vinyl die and then the base coats uh, these two shells come apart so it's very easy to paint so the black the bottom part is a duple color uh, silver um, I'll get I'll try to find out exactly what the names of these paints are um, and then I'll put it in the description below uh, the top is a testors lacquer lime green i believe and i love this paint it's uh really cool i did this and then also the trigger and the uh, mag release and the rev trigger here in that so turned out really well i'm really happy with the the uh the colors and then my girlfriend jill she uh, did the detailing on here and she did a great job uh rapid dead here um and then some design work with some uh, skeleton hands and spooky faces and whatnot. The back is pretty sweet too. Really like this skeleton hand here. That's really cool. She did a great job. I let her just kind of do whatever she wanted. Kind of told her that obviously the theme of the blaster and then uh, just let her uh, kind of do what she wanted and I think it turned out great. And then after all that I went over and did some blood splatter to kind of uh, finalize the uh, rapid dead look. And uh, I think that turned out really well. And then after all that, obviously, I put on a clear coat. So I'll link all the, the materials I used in the description so you guys can kind of take a look at that. Internally, this is uh, pretty cool. I have a LiPo in here that fits just perfectly. It's a Nanotech 1000 milliamp 3S LiPo uh, that's running uh, two Rhinos, which are the Make Test Battle uh, 3S uh, 130 motor. Uh, has a new switch here. The handle has been, the normal rapid red handle has been cut off basically and uh, a barricade handle has uh, been put on. Um, and that turned out pretty well. I'm really, It's super comfortable now. Um, I'm definitely going to do that on every rapid red blaster I do. It's going to be, definitely is going to be um, replace the handle because you really cannot hold that little dinky handle and hold a blaster. It's pretty front heavy, especially when you put the batteries up front here it's pretty front heavy so you need to have a nice nice handle to gr to grip also when i did that i added a voltmeter in in uh the bottom grip here and then it has a little switch that turns that on um it's reading about 12 point i think i got it upside down here uh 12.3 volts so i like that because if i have it holstered which i have a custom holster for this uh so i can run it as my uh, secondary or second primary at an hvz event is usually what i use this for and then I can look uh, pretty easily. I can look. I can flip that and look at what my volts are doing um, without even taking it out of the holster. That's pretty convenient. So like that. And then also recently, actually just a couple days ago, I went in and actually I'll as you probably won't be able to see it here, but um, I'll sh I'll throw up some close-ups of the internals. But I put in a brass guide to an increase accuracy, and I just put that through the normal nerf flywheel cage and uh it really does help the accuracy it's not quite as good as a, a snickers cage or possibly like the the black steel prop cage it's not quite as good as that but at the moment you cannot buy one of those for the rapid red uh so i just made my own and i really like it and i think it's a very budget friendly option to do and uh maybe i'll even post up a uh when i do it the next time in a blaster i'll probably try to do a video and show you guys how i did that because it's pretty easy it takes a little bit of time to do but it's not too difficult the one thing i really like is i have a uh the guide for the darts to enter the in enter the uh the motor cage and i've covered that with a pvc to help protect the brass and uh, really like that about it because it really helps guide the darts in when i didn't have that in this blaster for whatever reason i don't know if these 
the motors were just getting crazy uh, RPMs or whatever, but uh, the accuracy of this blaster was not very good until I added that. So I was getting a lot of Whirlybird action actually out of just the normal stock cage, and I don't really understand why. I have a feeling it might have had something to do with the rubber skirt that goes on the front of the motor cage in uh, this blaster and then like the rapid strike. I feel like those get like hurt your accuracy for whatever reason. I don't know why, um, but I've had some issues with blasters that have that in it and the accuracy with them. Um, not that any Nerf blaster without the brass running through it is very accurate, but this was getting whirly burly and it was just really almost unusable in some cases because it just wasn't firing darts um, straight at all. So that really helped that problem and I highly recommend you guys doing that to your, uh, to your blasters um, if you don't want to spend the money on a, on a, you know, a third party cage. So yeah, and then uh, obviously I have the uh, new switch in here for the LiPo. So this is my Apex Weapon Systems holster that I use for my Rapid Dead. I mean, it moves around some, but it's not going anywhere. Um, it's very secure, and I really love this holster. I wouldn't run anything else because you run a lot in HVZ events, and you don't want something flopping around, hitting your leg, uh, falling off, anything like that. So this is very, very secure, and I absolutely love it. And so uh, if you're going to run something um, of this size as a secondary, you definitely need a good holster to run it in. And it's got the leg, I forget exactly what they call this, but the leg strap. Um, you can get it without this, but I suggest with it because it really helps the comfort and the security of that to your leg. So really like this. I'll post uh, the, a link to their, I think it's an eBay. They, are, they used to be on Etsy, but now I think they're on eBay. So I'll post a link to their uh, eBay page in the description and uh, just heard a bar now that's pretty cool uh, anyways uh, the tactical belt is also an apex we weapon systems tactical belt and uh, you can also get that on their site if you want to run a tactical belt I highly recommend getting something like that hello bar owl. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that but there's a bar owl in the back that's pretty cool Love the owls. All right, we're going to put some shots over the chronograph. I hope you guys can read that, but if not, I'll definitely let you know the results. you enjoyed uh, the video of the rapid dead I think it's a pretty good secondary to have for an HVZ event gets pretty good accuracy with that brass insert in there FPS ratings are nothing amazing obviously but uh, good enough to get the job done and um, yeah just a nice uh, sidearm and uh, hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and as always guys peace out <laughs>